Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to show you what happens when you interrupt the BIOS update process on a Dell machine. Okay, so we are also going to see the BIOS recovery process. One caveat, this video is for entertaining and learning purposes, well, purposes only. Don't try this on your machine, otherwise it might become unusable. Another thing is that the older your machine is, the less likely you are going to have these options, the recovery one for the BIOS. So for this end, I'm going to use this machine. This is a Dell Optiplex 3040. As you can see on the screen, the machine is on at the moment. And I just want to show you that this is a working machine. OK, so we're going, going to turn on the screen. And this is the operating system. It's Windows 10, can be Windows 11, Windows 8, doesn't make a difference. I just want you to see that this is a working machine. It's not damaged right so we are going to i'm going to move some files around so for you to see that it's i'm doing this um, i'm testing this machine at the moment okay so now i have this usb which contains the bios update for the for the dell optiplex 3040 i have done videos in the past on which i show how to select the correct bios version for your model how to find your service stack and all that and if you're interested in that you can click on the top right of this screen for the playlist okay because we're going to use a usb to upgrade the bios now let's go let's go back to the machine we are going to i just connected the usb right there and now we are going to restart this machine like that because I have to access the boot menu. Now, right away, I'm going to start pressing F12 on the keyboard. Maybe I didn't have to press it that many times, but we're going to be here after a few seconds. So this is the boot menu and we have to go to the option that says BIOS flash update because the update is in the BIOS, right? So we go there, we press enter and we're going to see this screen right, right away. From here, we go to the top right. We're going to click on the three dots, and this is the update. So the update is version 120.1. .1. So we're going to select that, and this is going to give us an overview. So what we currently have is 1.19.1. .1. So the upgrade or the update is going to be 1.20.1, .1. okay? So there is an update for this one. Begin, fly, uh, begin flash update, and this is the general message that at the end you can read that says interruption of the bios firmware update procedure would likely render your system unusable do you want to proceed yes and that's actually what we are going to do we are going to interrupt the process all right so now uh allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and i'm going to wait the, the computer is going to restart right and, and it's going to start the bios update process you can see over there i'm going to wait I, uh, until it is at 50 percent to interrupt it and while we're waiting this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet that really helps my channel a lot so thank you thank you very much so now as you can see it's in 47 48 and now we are going to um, interrupt the process so i'm going to disconnect it from the power just like that now i'm going to connect it back to see how the machine is now as you can see the machine is doing some checks i'm going to disconnect the usb we don't really need it at this point because it has been unsus unsuccessful we have interrupted it i'm going to turn on the machine we wait a few seconds and we should see a screen like this one over here if you don't see this screen on your keyboard you have to press Control escape so i'm going to show you in a few more seconds right there Control escape and that should trigger this um this menu over here if you don't have it that means your endpoint is really really old and it's not supported okay so now we have a few options to choose from the first one is going to be when recovery bios is selected bios is updated with the bios image in the recovery file so the recovery file is going to be the last bios update that worked in my case as you have seen is 1.19 Okay, uh, the second option is going to be um, default is select all bio setting is clear and in an initial I default. I don't need that for this for the purposes of this video. So I'm not going to select that. And the last one is when rollback bios is selected, the bios is updated with the previous bios version. So you would choose this if let's say version 1.20, the one we are uh, we were updating to has has been successful, it completed, but when you turn on the machine, it doesn't work. OK, so that would be rollback BIOS. So for this video, I just need to recovery BIOS. I just want to go to the previous version because it never completed. I'm going to select that one and then I'm going to press continue. So it's going to show me this other screen warning. 
once you apply your changes, they cannot be undone. Okay, that's fine. I just, I'm going to show you the cancel button and how it looks. I'm going to press con confirm. And now the computer is going to look like it's updating the BIOS. As you can see, updating firmware, do not power down your system. So now the video is sped up in this part, so you don't have to wait all the real time. It took around five minutes or so, all right, to complete this process which is 99%, maybe 100 exactly to what a regular update is. So when it's done, it says it has completed rebooting your system. Now we don't have to press anything. You can go to the BIOS to verify the version. You can press F2 on the keyboard to check that. However, the point is that the machine uh, should be usable again. So you see the Dell logo there. It's going to take a few, uh, it's going to take longer to load the operating system. And we are, we are back at the login screen in Windows. So maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.